Hello class, my name is Mrs. Lawson and I am very excited that you are coming to do math with me today. I'm in the woods because I thought it would be fun for us to find some leaves and flowers and pine cones to sort and graph today. Hmm, what does it mean to sort? And what does it mean to graph? Well, let's take a closer look at sorting and graphing. Class, I went on a walk through the woods today and look at all of the fun things that I found. I would like to see how many of each one I found, but it's difficult to count when they're all mixed up. I'm gonna start by sorting them. When we sort items, we put similar items together. I'm putting all of the pine cones together. Hmm, what else could I sort? I'm gonna sort the flowers. These are chrysanthemums. We often have chrysanthemums in the fall. I think I have quite a few leaves here. These are all my leaves. Hmm, could I sort my leaves even more? What if I put all of my red leaves together? I'm going to put them in one pile and I guess I could even sort these leaves too. I have yellow leaves and some green leaves. I now have sorted all of the items that I found on my nature hike. Hmm, do you think I could graph them now? I have some graph paper here and I think that I will make a graph. I'm going to start here with the pine cones. When I make a graph, we start at the bottom. I have one, two, three, four, five pine cones. How about the green leaves? I have one, two. What about the red leaves? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Oh, the red leaves went all the way to the top. And then I'm gonna graph my yellow leaves. One, two, three, and then my chrysanthemums. Now, these are all on my graph. Could I just leave them there? Hmm, I can't. When we make a graph, all of our items need to start at the same spot and we usually start at the bottom. One, two, three, and four. Hmm, I like my nature graph. Let's see, I am going to put some numbers over here. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. When I look at my pine cones, I can easily tell that there are five pine cones. If I look at my graph, I can see that the green leaves are right up to the number two on our graph. Oh, the red leaves go all the way up to the top. And what number is at our top? It is the number six. Hmm, the yellow leaves are right here and that is at three. There are three leaves on my graph. Can you see how many flowers are on the graph? It's right at the number four. One, two, three, four. Oh, I had fun making a graph. I think that you should try graphing something today. When we look at the graph, it's pretty easy to see which one has the most. Hmm, which one does have the most? You're right, it is the red leaves. Which one has the fewest items? The fewest means the smallest number. It's the green leaves, you're right. When you sort your items, you might want to do it in a different way. 
Or maybe you want to count them first and organize your graph. I could have done my green leaves first because there was two and then my yellow leaves and then my chrysanthemums and my pine cones and my red leaves to make my graph look really organized. Hmm, let's try that. This is what my graph would look like if I organized it from the fewest items to the most items. Two green leaves, three yellow leaves, four chrysanthemum flowers, five pine cones, and six red leaves. <laughs> my graph looks so very neat and organized. It's almost like there's little stair steps all the way up. Do you have something that you could try graphing today? I hope so. Oh, friends, I had so much fun sorting and graphing with you today. I think that you should find some beautiful things to play with and practice your math. You could sort some shells or some rocks, or you could use some little toys that you have around the house. I hope that you have a great time practicing sorting and graphing. Have a great day class. Bye-bye.